this type of cast brass fittings and cast brass flanges are mainly used in oxygen lines as exempt material because brass is inert and does not react with oxygen also these are used in high corrosive areas like marine industries now you can see the surface defects of this type of cast brass fittings from outside and surface defects from inside also the main defect in cast fittings and flanges is porosity pin holes and flaw holes the reason of this type of casting defect is due to use of bad quality sand and due to moisture inside the sand mold and core to get smooth casting surface sand mold and core should be painted using flammable paint before pouring hot metal in the sand mold the mold should be fired so that flammable paint starts burning and moisture is removed from the sand if moisture remains inside the sand then there will be chances of porosity in the casting after casting and machining three four french fittings are connected together and testing is done depending on casting quality we may get leakage from these fittings or we may not get leakage from these fittings if there is very minor flaw or very minor pin hole in the casting then it may not be detected in hydro testing or pneumatic testing similarly for testing cast brass flanges i6 flanges are bolted together for testing you can see that leakage is found from one or two flanges to prevent the leakage during testing some manufacturer keep these cast flanges or fittings inside molten rubber so that porosity or pin holes will be blocked and leakage will not be there during testing you can see that to block porosity and pin holes this cast brass fittings was kept inside molten rubber and the coating is being cleaned before testing this is dangerous because after installation at site we may get leakage from these flanges or fittings for this reason cast brass fittings or flanges should be radiographed or should be tested by magnetic particle after removing the coating from the fittings you can see the pin hole you can also see the coating inside flange bolt hole also
now the coating is being removed from inside surface of the fittings and you can see the inside surface defects and lot of pin holes also you can see the porosity or pin hole in flange bolt hole area after hammering on the pin hole the hole is increasing after bridging the brass flange with copper pipe sometimes we get this type of leakage through the tested flange the reason of this type of leakage through brass flange is although the flange is leak tested at manufacturer works but when the bridging is done between brass flange and copper pipe at around 850 degree celsius temperature size of pin hole inside the cast flange increases due to high temperature and if pin holes are plugged by coating then it melts during bridging at around 850 degree celsius temperature in this way we get leakage from brass flange or fittings after bridging so during inspection of cast brass fittings and cast brass flanges we should inspect outer surface and inner surface thoroughly even if minor surface defect or porosity is there then it may not be detected in leak testing but it may leak after bridging or after installation at site so we may have to go for magnetic particle testing or radiography to detect minor flaw or minor pinhole